All right, so let's look at a quick example where we illustrate this idea of using the tangent line to approximate the function. And of course, we've, we've looked at this again, um, but it's always good to review, make sure we understand what's going on. Okay, so here's our, um, here's our value of c, right? Uh, we want to do this approximation at 1.1, uh, which, you know, conveniently enough is close to a value where we happen to know um, the value of sine, right? Um, I think if we were to add one more decimal, this is maybe 0.53, okay? So you can work that out, right? Um, and the point here is maybe you're trying to solve this problem and, you know, you don't have your scientific calculator handy. But you remember that pi is 3.14, Maybe you're really paying attention, you know, it's 3.14159, something like that. You can put that into even just, you know, a cheap dollar store calculator. You can divide by three. You've got this value, okay? So we've got our value. We can see that it's pretty close to 1.1, okay? Um, what else do we know? We know that sine at pi over three is root 3 over 2, which is about 0 0.866. We know that f prime of x is cos x, and cos of pi over 3 a half. All right. So now we can we can form this tangent line approximation, right? We can we can set up this L of x. So L of x, the linear approximation, is going to be f of c. So in this case, c is pi over three. Um, oops. Let's just put that in. Let's put in our, let's put in our decimal value. 0 0.866, okay, plus 1 half times x minus pi over 3. Um, oh, you know what, this is not quite right. It goes the other direction, it's 0 0.1047 maybe. Um, let's just stick with 0 0.105, 1.05. Okay, so fine, there's our L of x. Now we want to we want to approximate sine of 1.1. So how do we do that? Um, so we do this. We say well sine of 1.1 is approximately L at 1.1, and L at 1.1 is 0 0.866 plus one half of 1.1 1 .1 minus 1.05, okay? So in, in this setup here, right, uh, this difference, right, this difference here, this is our, our delta x, if you like. So our delta x is 0 0.05. When we multiply by f prime, right, putting that one half out front, that's our f prime, this, whole thing is our differential, our dy, right? Um, so another way that we could have phrased this is that the difference between sine at 1.1, so the idea is that this dy is approximately sine at 1.1 minus sine at pi over 3. Very good. Um, we still want the value, right? So if we do that subtraction, we get 0.05. Multiply by a half, 0.025. Um, so the 2 goes here, 0 0.886, add the 0 0.05, um, 0.891. Okay, so that's our actual value, 0 0.891. All right, and if you do happen to have a scientific calculator handy, um, feel free to punch sine of 1.1 in, make sure you're in radians mode, and see how close you get. Um, I bet you're not too far off.